know you SEO guys love sending cold emails, but why are they so bad? Every single fucking time, every single SEO email I get, I cringe, I'm, I'm dying. So in today's video, I'm gonna go through one of the worst cold emails I've ever received, and we can talk about how to make it better. So let's jump into the inbox and see how to rebuild this SEO email. Let's start with the email itself and we'll just go piece by piece. So here's what we're dealing with. Subject line, first page ranking in Google, space, period. Ugh. <laughs> Not looking good so far. Oh, this email also ended up in spam, by the way. So I had to dig deep to find this gold for you on this channel. Greetings, no name. We are affiliated with a SEO company based in India that has helped many businesses to rank on the first page ranking in Google. So I, I gotta give them props. I really gotta give them props for this. I don't know how long it took them to find the perfect Google font, then create all of the colors perfectly. So I just wanna give you know big ups, big ups to you. Following are the services we offer at competitive rates. All right, the thing I hate the most in cold emails is bullet points. I hate bullet points because they're not natural. You wouldn't write an email like this to somebody. So that's why this is ending up in spam. And a few other things like, this email just has me on BCC. So I'm sure this was sent to hundreds of people not using a tool like Yesware, just straight out of Gmail. So they offer the following services, SEO, SEM, ORM, Google Maps optimization, Google AdWords, content writing. We provide all services at much affordable cost than what it might be in house. If you're selling content writing and you can't get one English sentence correct, I'm not gonna say don't sell content writing, just maybe don't sell content in English. If this company is good at content writing, then whoever wrote the content should write the emails. Or they should go through the same process of proofreading the emails as they do the blog content. Plus, India is a gigantic market. You could compete there until you have enough money to hire somebody that speaks better English. So, warm regards, Daniel, space, comma, online marketing executive, Delhi, India. Let's put this into a Google Doc and see what we can do here. First is the subject line. We talk about this a lot. Just make it more generic and you're fine. There's no need to get too fancy with these subject lines. So subject, first page ranking in Google. I would just say something like, hi from Daniel. You could also try quick question. Although recently that subject line quick question has been losing its open rate in our testing. So it might not work for you. That's why we test a lot of different subject lines. And if you want more subject lines, check out our subject line video, which I'll link down in the box, the description box below. I'm in a good mood today, I'm sure you can tell. There's nothing I love more than waking up to a bad cold email in my spam box and doing my good service. So, greetings. I would just change that to, you know, hi Alex. We are affiliated with a SEO company based in India. So, we are, if you're starting an email with we, that means you're talking about yourself. It's better instead to talk about your prospect. So, hi Alex, love your YouTube content. Custom sentence, something like that. Hey Alex, love your YouTube content. We are affiliated with a SEO company based in India. So I don't like the word affiliated because it's like you're selling for them. Instead, if you are affiliated with them, just be them, act like them and you'll do well. The other thing I wouldn't start with is that you're based in India. I wouldn't put that up at the top so far because of the way that Americans treat Indian businesses, specifically in the creative and SEO service space. It's not an asset to be from the country of India, like to the point where I would hide that in the email. Uh, the other thing to talk about when it comes to SEO, and if you sell SEO, you know this, but talking about getting somebody on the first page of Google is a huge red flag that you're a black hat SEO firm. And anyone that knows even a little about SEO or Google's red flags to look out for when hiring a firm will avoid you and that's it. So I wouldn't say anything like that that's gonna raise red flags. Instead, if you are doing SEO and you're sending cold emails for SEO, I would do something like this. I'm sure you get a ton of SEO cold emails. So instead of sending a bunch of bullet points, I'd love to send you two specific ideas. And these ideas are going to separate you from the pack. Use your SEO prowess your skill in ranking websites to number one to tell the customer two things that they haven't seen anywhere else. Is it your keyword strategy? Is it your link building strategy? Like what is different about your company? Your website still uses meta tags. 
these don't do anything for Google, I'm literally riffing this because I don't sell SEO. And actually allow your competitors easy access to the keywords you use. So I'm making a few assumptions with this email. And if he's selling to agencies, because this came to me and I run an agency, most of these guys that you're emailing, I would say close to 100% know what SEO is and have tuned it out or are doing something about it. One of those two things. So you're talking to an educated audience here. And that's why I'm writing this in the way that I am. Let's give it a quick read. Hi Alex, love your YouTube content. I'm sure you get a ton of SEO cold emails, so instead of sending a bunch of bullet points, I'd love to send two specific ideas. One, I see you're using old school link building, which a lot of cheap firms recommend, but will kill your search engine rank in the long term. The solution is targeted blog posts with custom email outreach. We've had clients go from page four to page one on Google with three good emails. Two, your website still uses meta tags. Those don't do anything for Google and actually allow your competitors easy access to the keywords you use. It's better instead to naturally put keywords into your blog posts. Would love to talk about improving your search engine traffic like we've done for dozens of other digital agencies, including Fire Digital and Fueled. Mind if I send over a few times for a quick call? Thanks, Daniel. Simple to the point, it breaks a few of the rules we talked about, but like we mentioned before, if your customers are getting a lot of these emails and in SEO, they are, especially if you're selling to other agencies, this email will convert. If you wanna see the exact cold email template that we're talking about here, that's down in the description below. If you found this valuable and you wanna share it with a friend or two, that would be much appreciated. Think of a friend, send them an email like, hey, found a video you might like, and then just a link to this content. That's enough usually, and I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to hit 100,000 subs this year, so every share counts. Also, if you need someone to do marketing for your digital agency, Maybe you want somebody to send emails like this on your behalf. Check out experiment27.com. I'm Alex Berman. Thanks.